group of Bengaluru artists and activists gathered last Friday at the Bangalore Fort to recall its forgotten glory. At the event called Paint the Kote Red, which was held at KR Market, they tried to trace the lost boundaries of the fort. When you say fort, people tend to remember only the fort building itself. But this is only 5% of what the fort was. The fort actually describes a perimeter that goes from here, you know, down uh, the Kalaspalya road. And it comes past Tipu's armory to where Kim's is now, to Makalakuta, towards uh, Minto Hospital. And then somewhere inside what you, you know the ground of uh, Victoria Hospital, it comes and joins at what remains now which is the north gate of the Delhi gate of the fort. The event had been arranged to help a team of German filmmakers who are touring and documenting world's interesting cities. The German filmmakers said Forsaken Fort signified how Bengaluru was failing to preserve its rich past. To get to know how um, modern Asian city works and that's why we came here. The longer we were here, the more we discovered that it also has a rich past. And this past is disappearing more and more because the city is developing so fast. The event drew more than 100 participants, curious onlookers and a few locals. The volunteers walked along a temporary boundary line that was drawn to identify the actual length and breadth of the fort. I have my fond memories for this area and it was so beautiful here with the Victoria Hospital and the fort and uh, uh, quiet city. This uh, temple here, Hanuman Temple is very old. After the long walk, participants gathered at a junction near the fort and they were rewarded with three beautiful folk songs by singer M.D. Pallavi. The event came to an end with volunteers raising candles and flashing torchlight to the sky. Interestingly, all these activities were captured by a flying drone. <laughs>